Hello, and welcome to Inaware's Process Runner Help Series. In this video, we will show how to display objects in SAP from return messages using the hyperlink functionality. Hyperlinking allows Process Runner users to quickly access the SAP GUI through the success messaging. Let's use a VA01 transaction automation script as an example. Here in the iBook ribbon, which is an internal instance of Excel, let's run our script which has already been recorded. We can select the return messaging and click the Display Document in SAP button at the top. This will utilize a hyperlink, which executes VA03 and displays the created sales order in the SAP GUI once we have logged on. If the SAP GUI is minimized and we click on Display Document in SAP, the hyperlink takes us directly to our display object screen. Now we will walk through how to create a hyperlink. First, let's go to the Home ribbon, then click on the Message button at the top. In the Hyperlink tab, let's check the Add Hyperlink to the Success Message on each run checkbox. And Aware has provided samples for some popular T codes in the Insert Sample dropdown. By selecting VA03, the Transaction Code and Parameter Command boxes fill automatically. The Parameter Command consists of commands to send information from the Excel sheet to fields in SAP. The parameter command for VA03 is pretty straightforward with the VBAC VBound field name, which is the sales document number, being equal to IReturnValue2. IReturnValue2 is the sales document number, which is generated in the SAP success message when a VA01 or VA02 transaction automation script is executed. If the Add SAP User ID to Hyperlink checkbox is checked, the end user will not be required to input their SAP user ID when the SAP GUI is minimized on their desktop. Let's briefly look at more advanced parameter commands by selecting the FB03 sample. FB03 requires three fields to be populated in order to display the document. The first two fields are taken from iReturn values 1 and 2 from SAP return messaging. The third field, however, is taken from an i value, which resides in an Excel column or cell. We would replace the question mark with the appropriate column letter or cell value. If a sample for the T code we are looking for is not provided in the Insert Sample dropdown, we would need to manually enter the T code in the Transaction Code box as well as its parameter command. You can reference the notes below for assistance when creating a custom parameter command. Please note that the SAP GUI must be installed on your desktop to take advantage of Process Runner's hyperlink functionality. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.